Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for June 30th through July 14th. For July for June 30th through July 4th, this is what we're forecasting the pattern look like. It hasn't changed much over the last uh, week or so. We have a trough here in the northwest or along the west coast. Zonal flow across the north. A little bit of troughing going on here. And we have a trough here. Uh, are a ridge across the southern states that will gradually um, uh, spread across the southeast during this period and then eventually back to the southwest. Now the upper ridge is forecast to strengthen and bring hazardous heat across the southern states this week and into early next week and then they'll eventually uh, shift back to the southwest uh, later in the week. Uh, the most active weather will be confined here across the northern states, and we'll take a look at that, the uh, northern states. You can see we have several systems move through the northern states here, which are bringing rain and storms to the region. Some rain can be locally heavy in some spots. And also, moisture stream around the western side of the ridge will bring some rain uh, to the uh, southern plains to the southeast, and we'll take a look at that too. Uh, you can see the rain here across this region on the southern plain, but then this ridge will gradually spread uh, westward or retrograde. Okay, so uh, now we're going to look at the period for July 5th to the 9th. And the pattern doesn't change all very much. Still have a zone of flow across the northern states. And here's our strong ridge that I told you it will build back uh, from the southeast and actually into the Pacific. 594 DM, I think that's the strongest that some of the models are showing. Yeah, okay, that's about the strongest there. And we have a trough here across, the, a little bit of a trough across the northwest and the northeast. So uh, for this forecast period, I am calling for, here we go, doesn't change the first time. Below normal temperatures here with the anomalies near 2 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures here with the anomalies of at least 8 degrees above normal. Mainly across this area could be more. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation for this region. Probability of occurrence 35%. Below normal precipitation for vast area here. I'm not so sure about the northern states due to the system moving across still. But I'm going to keep it below normal for now. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. Now we're going to look at the period for uh, July 10th to the 14th. And now we have uh, still a zone of flow troughing here. Trough here. You can see a little bit of a dip. And we have a strong ridge here, 594, that would build across parts of, of the southern states into the west. So uh, for this forecast period, calling for above normal temperatures for much of this area here for a large portion of the nation with the numbers of at least 8 degrees above normal or more across this area here. And for precipitation, so calling for above normal precipitation for this region, probability of occurrence 35%. And we have below normal precipitation for this region here, probability of occurrence is 35%. Now we're going to take a look at the tropics. Okay, this is becoming very interesting now. Uh, we have a, a, an invest uh, called AL95 in the uh, East of, uh, Atlantic and it's beca uh, could become better organized. Here's the wind fields. Uh, we'll take a look at some other things. Um, the latest track. This is where it's for forecast to track and the intensities. The sea surface temperatures, they're favorable, and this shows the relative humidity. And we'll take a look at, okay, um, some of the, the models are all showing it becoming a hurricane, I think, except for the L gem. So, I don't know, it looks like it's just, could be. Yeah, all right. They're all showing it becoming a hurricane uh, by July 2nd. So that's in a few days. So this would be a, a, an area to watch as you go further into um, 
the next couple of days. Now here's a satellite issue, satellite image of this storm. It looks disorganized. A little bit of a spin here. You can see counterclockwise. I don't know, like still has a ways to go. And it looks like most of the activity is to the south and to the west. So um, still remains disorganized, but will become, it's expected to become, can't say will because you never know, um, become better organized in the next several days ahead. And we'll take a look at the temperature of the clouds. All right. And then, um, hmm. there was something I was looking here for, I was looking at before, and I'm trying to get it back. It wasn't this. Um, okay, well, anyway, I'll get it back another day. We have um, a few more. We have time to look at this. Okay, so that is the long-range weather forecast discussion for... June 30th through July 14th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.